Welcome to Insights into Insurance with Tom Sorensen of Americana Insurance Group. All information provided is educational in nature and not intended to be acted upon without first consulting the appropriately licensed professional. Saturday morning on KATE, time for another episode of Insights into Insurance with Americana Insurance's Tom Sorensen. Tom, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Paul. It's kind of a crowded studio this morning. It is a crowded studio. We have uh, some very special guests today, so I can't wait to get this program going. Well, we always start with an email. You ready? I think I am. All right. Hello, Insights into Insurance. I've been a client of American Insurance Group for many years now. I would like to hear from some of the employees also and what their roles are in the agency and expertise. Thank you, Janice. Well, Janice... I think what you're saying is you're sick of hearing from me. Sounds like it. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking, Paul. And you know what? That's okay because what a fun idea. I think that's awesome. I think we should get some of our people from our agency on here and introduce them. So today, my special, very, very special guests are Lori Bagley and Amy Miller from American Insurance Group. Welcome. So, yes. Thank you. So, we're going to start out with Lori. Lori, <laughs> tell me about what your job title is. Well, my current title is Customer Coordinator. All right. And tell us about Lori Bagley. Okay, Lori Bagley has been married to Bill Bagley for almost 36 years. We have two grown daughters, each married to a fantastic man. And we have a granddaughter named Emily, who will be two in October, and she is an absolute delight. Emily? I've never heard about Emily. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. That's First time, huh? Yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Let's just put it this way. I think we got a pretty proud grandma over here. So. Good. Congratulations. Uh, and, yes, and that's the way it should be. So, well, with that, and, uh, and her husband, Bill, works for the city of Albert Lee. How long have you been with American Insurance Group? 13 plus years. 13 plus. Mm -hmm. Lucky 13. Lucky 13. Yeah, <laughs> on to 14. There you go. Tell me, what, what do you do? Even though I know what you do, but <laughs> let's tell the listeners what you do. Okay, well, I am the first contact that you will have with Americani Insurance when you call or come into our office. I will greet you with a smile and an offer of pop, water, or coffee each time you come to our office. I assist customers with bill paying or billing inquiries. I am a fully licensed property casualty agent, so if Amy is unavailable, I can process changes to policies like adding, removing vehicles, adding drivers, sending out proof of insurance documents, and I can report a claim to your company if needed. When you leave, I always recommend our candy dish, which I feel is the best in town because everyone deserves a little chocolate in their day. Yeah, and uh, I just get a kick out of that. That candy dish, I would say we have a success rate of probably about 99% of the people grabbing some candy out of that dish on their way out of the office. It's, it's pretty interesting in the comments that they make when they do it. So I especially love the comment, no one puts chocolate out. Yeah, right, 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 right. We, we went to the Blue Zone Healthy uh, Treats at one time, Paul. And they were sticking around. For some reason, they just didn't go over as well. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Blue Zones. I, but so we just decided, you know what, we'll, we'll, we'll keep the, you know, the chocolate out. So maybe for some people's sanity, maybe that's what it is. But uh, so, well, uh, thank you, Lori. Uh, we'll get back to you. So Amy Miller, good morning. Good morning. What is your job title? I am an account manager and support leader. The account manager and support leader. Tell us about Amy Miller. I'm married. Um, my husband and I have three children. Grew up in Albert Lee, attended school here and in Glenville, and have been in the area pretty much my entire life. What are the ages of your kids? Three, seven, and 13. I think you're a little busy with the family. A little bit. And your husband's name is? Ryan Miller. Ryan Miller. Okay. What's Ryan do? Ryan works at Edwards Manufacturing. Yes. Yes. That's right. So how long have you been with American Insurance Group? Three and a half years. Three and a half years. Yep. And what do you do there? Even though, again, I know, but let's tell the listeners. Uh, I handle the claims process from beginning to finish. 
Okay. Basically, I will take the claim, I'll file the claim, and then I'll follow up with the insured. Yep. I also submit any policy changes that need to be submitted and do quoting. Yeah, and when I ask both of these ladies, what do you do at our office, that's kind of a loaded question because uh, that list probably could go on and each one of them could probably take 15 minutes of our radio show to, to, to answer that. So, But these are the main objectives or what the goals of their day are. So, so Amy and Lori, also too, you guys are desi have designations. Lori, what is your designations? I have the CPIA and I have the CISR. Okay, and Amy, you have? I have the CPIA and I am two classes away from my CISR. Right, and uh, those are educational classes and testing and things like that just to, what, to increase your professional... Increase our knowledge. Knowledge, yeah. 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 Yep. And those are important things in our agency. Asking you ladies, if you were a client, what would you feel would attract you to Americana Insurance Group? Besides Tom. Besides me, yes, exactly. <laughs> well, you already get it, Paul. All right, sounds good. Well, that's an interesting question because I was a client before I began to work at Americana. And I was impressed with the attention to detail that the agents offered their customers. I feel that that spirit of knowledge and the desire to help people understand insurance and why they need coverage is very strong in our office. That's, well, thank you, Lori. That's a great answer. And uh, Amy, uh, do you got anything to add? Well, I wasn't a customer before I started at Americana, but I just the friendly atmosphere. You okay. know, Lori is always there to greet you when you first walk in. Yeah, she's pretty spectacular at she that. She is. Yeah. And somebody is always willing to help, so. Yeah. Actually, Lori makes, and this is not a fun thing, but she actually makes our phone calls for our, what do I want to say, late payment people. And, oh, yeah. and if I could... I, I was just saying this to my son the other day because he had to do it at his job, and he and I said you should come in and listen to Lori make her phone calls. She is the best at it. She can make tough conversation into a really nice, friendly conversation with those people. And and uh, you know, sometimes late payment it just it that happens in life, okay? And so and she understands that, and she makes the people understand that and feel that way too. So I like to think of myself as that gentle nudge. <laughs> <laughs> what is something you do, this is a question to both of you, that you don't feel other agencies do or have? And I'll let Amy go first. This time. I think just that we offer the reviews yep. for our customers. The 15 plus years that I had insurance before I came to Americana, not once did my agent ever offer me a review or to go over my coverages with me. So I never really understood what I had. Yep. So uh, that's a good good point. And how about you, Lori? Can you add anything? Well, first of all, I totally agree with her. That is an awesome service. I think our working with our farmers on the crop insurance is really unique in our community. Uh, we produce spring and fall manuals based on their farming information, and we spend significant time putting those together to help our farm clients consolidate all that information that they need. Okay. Right now, we're at a breaking point here so that we can uh, get Kate, Kate Radio some uh, payment uh, for uh, doing this uh, show, right? It's our helpful nudge. Yeah, that's your helpful <laughs> nudge. That's right, Paul. So uh, we'll be back in probably 30 seconds, right, Paul? We'll be back with more Americana Insurance in just 30 seconds on Insights into Insurance with Americana Insurance's Tom Sorensen. Is on your side. You have a side that is retired, playing tag and getting tired. A side that owns your own store. Looks like you need to explain some more. That's why there's a nationwide to help protect and grow your many sides. Nationwide is on your side. Nationwide Mutual Insurance Company and Affiliates, Columbus, Ohio. For all your many sides, there's Nationwide. Call Americana Insurance Group and Albert Lee and Wells today. We're back here on Insights into Insurance with American Insurance is Tom Sorensen. Tom, you've got Lori and Amy in studio, and you just asked them about something they feel Americana has or something that they do that other agencies don't necessarily do or have. I've got a question, though. Yeah. Uh, I kind of want to know what their feelings are when it comes to Americana's philosophy on doing business. I think that's something customers want to hear. Great question, Paul. Well, I'll let the ladies answer. 
Go ahead, Lori. Okay. <laughs> I think that we are offering knowledge on insurance products that help the customer understand why they need certain levels of coverage. If you look at the coverage, that's the important part because price won't mean anything if you have a loss. And if you don't choose the coverage, you'll feel even worse. Okay, Amy? Yeah. And I totally agree with what Lori said. It's basically we want to educate our insureds on what they're purchasing and making sure that they're purchasing what they need. I think if I could even expound on that is we're, we're willing to sit down and educate them and uh, make sure that we're covering them for what they need coverage. Not everybody has the same needs. Okay. And so again, I'm going to use the word or the same sentence that I always use is insurance is always expensive before a loss. After a loss, it's really inexpensive. Okay. And that's, that's the philosophy that we take is if something happens to that person, the last thing we want is to say no coverage. Okay. But the thing is, Sometimes those extra coverages cost extra money, so well, I guess we're we're not going to be order takers. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do our job and make sure that we do it professionally. Am I correct, ladies? Correct. Yeah. All right. So people so, want to hear. Yeah, Lori and Amy. So I, I guess I don't even know what your answer is to this. What is your favorite thing to do as part of your job? We'll let Amy go again first because she is so excited to do this radio show today. So, okay. My favorite part of my job is probably just interacting with customers. You know, it's not uncommon that if somebody calls to make a auto change or, you know, file a glass claim that we end up in full conversation so right yeah probably behind Lori because she's the first one that's always right. on the phone or or anybody that walks in Amy's probably the person that sees our clients more than anybody okay so those what I'm talking to here or what who we're talking to today is the two people that actually have more contact with our clients than anybody and that's kind of why I thought ah, let's bring them in today to do this so so Lori what's your favorite well, it's funny because I also say the interaction with our customers is one of my favorite things about working at the front desk. I also love planning Christmas open houses for our customers each year. Uh, it's like having friends over for a cup of coffee, cider, and a cookie, and you catch up on, you know, what everybody's been up to. Yep. Yeah, we, we really enjoy that Christmas open house, and uh, it's just something that we can do for our clients that we really feel happy about doing for them. They're, they're happy, we're happy, and it's it's kind of like a nice little get-together atmosphere. And then the other thing that we're going to be doing here on October 18th is we're going to be delivering farmer lunches. And we do about 450 of them. I think I said this on last week's radio show, but that's my favorite day of the, of the year. It absolutely is awesome. So uh, I love doing that. I loved it too until I kept getting lost out in the country. Yeah, we keep uh, we keep <laughs> yeah. sandwiches to eat those. Yeah, right. We we keep Lori back at the office on that day when I said yeah. when she called me and asked me where where to go one day and I said well go north and she says which way is north I said okay well maybe we start need to talk to left and right here but that that's not it's not easy to explain somebody where to go if they don't know northeast southwest so so she's she's awesome i think her place is probably best in the office is that right laurie that is absolutely right <laughs> <laughs> so so i'm gonna do something kind of strange here we have a monthly all staff meeting that we end with a positive quote comment or anything that is happening in your life it's a positive thing. No negative stuff. So they're going to say the radio show at the next meeting. That's right. That's right. Exactly. So so I want to ask Lori, what's, what do you got going on? Well, um, every month when we do our staff meeting, if I've seen my little Emily, that is my highlight. Yes, it is. And I love it. If not, I usually uh, use a quote from several different authors that I read. The one I thought of to use this next time came from Max Lucado and it said you are special because you are not because of what you do and I like that and uh, that's Is, the way I try to try to try to treat people that's that's great how about you Amy well 
my uh, positive is usually something with the kids. Yes. However, not much has been going on lately <laughs> with, <laughs> with school and whatnot. So um, I went with a quote this time. Okay. It was just, every day may not be beautiful, but there's beauty in every day. That and is... I've just been trying to find beauty in every day. Yep, that's awesome. <laughs> so. And by the way, uh, Kira was in our office yesterday, and she, her daughter, four, no, how? Nope, seven. Seven, seven. she first, yeah, <laughs> seven. She's kind of like, I make her the boss of the agency when she comes in, so, and she likes that, so. She's an awesome little girl, and so is the other kids. Uh, they're great kids. I guess what I just want to say is, as you guys see here, Paul, is we are real people, just like you and your Kate listeners, and I want to make sure that people understand that, that our employees and us are part of the community. We're, we're involved in the community. We go to church. We volunteer. We we live and do business with the community. Our kids go to uh, have or are currently attending the local schools, and I am just super proud of uh, my employees. I can tell what they drove coming in. You're you're doing very well with them, Tom. So yes. I appreciate that. Yes, exactly, exactly. So, and they were really nervous to come in and do this today. So uh, we have discussed this now. Amy's going to do this full time. Yeah, so we we decided on. So <laughs> I believe Angela McCormick and Suzanne Dixon said that they would. Like to oh, okay, oh, okay. Maybe oh. I, mean, I missed that one. I, I guess. Yeah. I guess so. So speaking of missing, if someone maybe missed something here today, I know they can go to the website or give you a call and maybe talk with Lori. First, what's right, the actually, our website, and they can actually see the pictures of Lori and Amy and see who we're talking to today at americaninsurance.com, or they can call our office at 507 377 2000, or they can email me any questions, any ideas, or if they want us to contact them at insights at americaninsurance.com. Thanks, Tom. We'll talk again next week. Happy Saturday, and have a great week the rest of you. You've been listening to Insights into Insurance from Americana Insurance Group. All information provided is intended to be educational in nature. Before acting upon any information obtained during the Insights into Insurance radio show broadcast, consult an appropriately licensed professional.